I'm gonna get this out. The shit, the Raiders have you been be an Raider embarrassment Raider. to the AFC, AFC West. You know what I mean? I'm gonna put it like this. Embarrassment. The Raiders have a cancerous tumor. Which is who? And the NFL and other people have been trying to help get radiation and, and, and make the Raiders survive. See, but it's been I, eaten I, I, alive on the inside. What are these the Raiders Raider shit is like a comedy. It's like a joke. Shit? They it's a joke, man. They it's a like big, big joke. And I'm not, I'm not making fun of people with cancer, but I'm just, to make my point clear, it's an eternal problem with the Raiders. The head is dying. You don't know what it's doing. And therefore, you are what you are. All right, so, seriously. So, so, but why you got, why can't you, just, why you so, got to go there? Where would they pick? You could give them 31 picks. <laughs> And they still will be a bad team. <laughs> Fanatic, fan no, short no, And I love George Marcus. I now, love you know what? players on there. I, I I'm sorry. sorry. It's the truth, man. He, he coming at us just like truth. a fan. We, we picking. You so, know what I'm saying? Before, I'm not dogging Gay Diego, man. I say, I say they can either go Chris Long or they go uh, 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 Cedric Ellis. What, what you feeling out of him, man? I mean, I'm going to go. I'm going to just, from what I'm saying right now, McFadden, Cedric Ellis, Chris Long. That's my, that's me. What you think? With the Raiders? Yeah. Man, don't ask okay, this no, dude, I'm man. He's always thing. in black. Wanna be they're, they're going to get uh, the best quarterback in the draft. <laughs> <laughs> Although they have a quarterback, they're going to pick Matt, Matt uh, Long. Live is sweet. If you right. ever want me, you know. I say, I say they're going to go with Chris Long. I'll just say Chris Long. Everybody agrees, don't get no damn Texas receiver, right? Uh, yeah, Live is sweet. That Lima Sweet is not what you need to do. Lima they know they need to pick a defensive room. player. They need to pick a pick pick a defensive player. Preferably, they couldn't pick nobody there. A basket and a chair. Well, we got Kansas City. Well, now, now we're looking at Kansas City. Yeah. You said Kansas City, although they went with Dwayne Bow last year, that they're gonna go <laughs> and try and match up with another receiver and go Malcolm <laughs> Kelly, right? What about a team that needs? To me, they need offensive line help. They got a uh, Ware. You know, running the ball. Yeah. They got some pretty lame quarterbacks oh that are God. like, you know, these which, dudes. Which you mean get, they need to run the they, ball. Honestly, <laughs> these 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 quarterbacks remind me of like playing in the street where you like ah, and then you start falling. Yeah, okay. yeah. But see, <laughs> jittery, <laughs> jittery Jim. Yeah, they need offensive line help more than anything. Okay, the reason I did receiver, and I put Malcolm Kelly is because based on what they seen, and remember this guy's in their backyard. He's in their backyard, Oklahoma, Kansas City, not that far away. So you just trying to say travel. You call. no no. Look, <laughs> the Raiders would get my, uh, no no. Dwayne Kelly Bow is they, good. We would. No, no. I agree. Yeah. Dwayne Bow is good, but the thing is, Sammy Parker never panned out from Oregon. You got to get somebody to, to to coincide with him and to give uh, uh what you call it a little bit of help. Gonzalez, now I agree. Gonzalez and Bow need help, but exactly. not with the what is it, the fifth pick. What they need is offensive line help. Who's the second best offensive lineman? You don't get an offensive if you if Who's he's the not... second best offensive lineman? Preferably a guard, like somebody take Will Shields' place or something. Okay. And do from Mi uh, Michigan. And they lost big. Oh, the big who's who's, the, uh, who's Willie, the cat uh, from Michigan? Uh, aficionado, who's the cat from Michigan that plays on the line? No, you talking about Jake Long, but no, the, no. The, the second best offensive lineman would be the tackle uh, from Arbor. But you, you they don't need, need to take him. <laughs> well, see, man, did you watch how the quarterbacks was playing last Freddy year? Said, uh, Rorty Coral, Coral, whatever, Robert, from, from, from Alabama. Though. Him and uh, uh, man. uh, what's his? Heward, Damon Heward. They suck. Yeah, they couldn't stay up on their feet. No, they they, 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 they suck because they suck. They suck. <laughs> <laughs> they suck, man. They suck. Hey, that I, was one hundred percent KP right they there. They suck. All right, look, yeah. So y'all so just now knowing them. The reason, so. the reason you get Malcolm <laughs> Kelly, you get the best available player, and those other needs, you say, hey man, I can go down in the second round and so not pay that much Dominique money. So you think Dominique Rogers is a better available player? Oh yeah, he is, but he's. You can they need get, corners too, cause Ty Law ain't there no more either. All right, let's just go to hit me. Go, man. What, what, what I you mean, gotta uh, say? I, I'm just gonna say, you know what? That 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 receiver, who's the dude number eighty two? Uh, Debo Dwayne. All right, yeah, he he a stud. I gotta give give it to him. He a stud. You know what I'm saying? But guess what? Without no time for them to get him or uh, pretty boy the ball, the uh, you can another receiver ain't gonna do shit. Offensive, offensive line, line can always right? be picked in the late rounds. Right. I, I, I know it seems like we going to. I mean, some of your shit's gonna work, just not th <laughs> these last two. <laughs> I honestly think. They will go after uh, my man from uh, K 
Kentucky. They gonna go after a quarterback. Uh, My honest opinion, because they well, are. Oh, oh, you talking about Louisville? Yeah, no, no, Kentucky Woods. Now that's out the box. Why is my stuff so insane and that's out the box? <laughs> I'll tell you why. They got Kansas City is very fortunate. <laughs> they have a nice rookie receiver. Yeah. They have the second best tight end. Yeah. And the second best running back so behind San Diego. So you don't reach so, that far for a quarterback when you don't have to. Not ain't reach you reach far. You get in the second or third round. Reach for a fucking lineman <laughs> and protect these motherfuckers. <laughs> After you sorry this year, get a quarterback next year. Boy, I'm telling you. Number six is the New York Jets. Hood, Garantula, if you would. All right. These cats, they got rid of Thomas Jones. Laverne is cold. They sent him back, right? Or did he come back? They, well, well, he there, but I mean, you know, he getting old. Yeah. You know, I forget that's the brother of the one that's gone. Julius Jones. Uh, uh, Jonathan Vilma bounced. He's with the Saints now. Because you go Saints. from a 4-3 to a 3-4, which you wanted to in the first place. Okay. And Vilma can't play in it. All right. So I feel like they need to go with Goldston. You know, they need, because Goldston Yeah, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Goldston, Goldston is a D that can play like a linebacker. Gangsta. So I think they need to go with Goldston. And that's about all boy from um, Ohio, Ohio State. State off yeah. the charts. Yeah. yeah. You said they're gonna take Chris Long. Explain. Explain. <laughs> okay. The reason I said they were gonna take Chris Long is because sorry. Chris Long comes from their family tree, and I'm gonna explain it to you. The coaching family tree: Al Grow, uh, Mangini, all them, Parcells. Uh, all of them, they all come to the coaching family tree. They know this boy can play within the system they create. And they know he can stand up and play in that defense. I said, Chris Long, I said, hell, he'd be a perfect fit for him. You, you, you look at what, hey, how can I fit this guy in? Is he coachable? And can he work with what we want within this 3-4 defense? And yes, he can. Where? Now, Vernon, Vernon Golston, to me, Jake Long, and the reason, and this is going back to the number one pick, why I rated Jake Long so high. The only player that Jake Long said he had a problem with was Vernon Golston. So I'll, I'll give you that. He said that's the only player he had a problem with he couldn't block. Okay. What do you feel here, man? You know what? I, I mean, personally, I have to give it. I, I'm with Cappy on this one. Okay, you know Chris Long. Yeah. If McFadden is available, I can see them grabbing him. If he's available. Yeah. Right. Rude went with McFadden. If he's available. So now, we look over the first six picks. Let's take a look back. All right. Who we got, EJ? For the Dolphins, we got KP for Jake Long. That's Jake Long, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> 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 Is that California education shining? Boy. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> oh, for Hitman, we got possible trade. Marky Luck, we got Jake Long. And for Rue, we got possible trade. For the Rams, we got Dorsey all across. But Falcons, I didn't really get that much from Falcons. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Falcons. Falcons are crazy. Go to go <laughs> where anybody else's pick is. Oh, Hitman, got Matt Riley and... Matt Ryan. Matt oh, Ryan. Matt Ryan. Teddy Riley. And Marky Luck, we got Matt Ryan. Um, For the Raiders, for KP, we got Sweet. For um, Hitman, we got McFadden. For Marky Luck, we got um, Chris Long. We got Rufa, Matt, um, Ryan, L. I don't know. Matt Leiter? <laughs> <laughs> go, go. This, this is a train wreck. Keep going. <laughs> this is just all being ended up. Go, keep going. This <laughs> is all being ended up.